Radha's face is just like the features of Lord Krishna. This Odam Shastri is a festival of uh, Lord Jagannath, uh, and uh, what takes place is that devotees dress him in starched clothing, which is, uh, as we'll see in the past time, quite unusual, because starch isn't considered to be a uh, pure thing. It's uh, considered to be impure. And at this time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would come with his devotees and see Lord Jagannath, and there would be different musical bands with instruments and conch shells and bells, uh, and the whole uh, town uh, would take on, Jagannath Puri would take on a, a festive look. And not only would Lord Jagannath wear one set of clothes, but during the day he wears uh, many clothes, uh, actually up until the time of Makara Shakranti, uh, which is uh, in mid-January. I don't have a Vaishnav calendar with me, but if you could look at it, you will uh, see that. So he wears this type of starch clothes. It's a uh, long-term festival. And uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would stay up late into the night, and he would become overwhelmed in ecstasy, seeing uh, the many different dresses that Lord Jagannath uh, would be dressed in. And then, of course, Jagannath's also given very beautiful golden jewelry with inlaid gems and garlands and bracelets, earrings, flowers, uh, all of these things. If you go to Puri, you can even see now where Lord Jagannath has these many flower ornaments and uh, 16 items for special worship. And what to speak of, of course, Lord Jagannath's uh, grand prasadam, uh, offerings of boga, which are constantly being uh, made to him. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, of course, would then go back home to his residence and uh, be absorbed in thoughts of uh, Lord Krishna, the same thoughts that Srimati Radharani was when uh, Lord Krishna left for uh, Mathura. And uh, at that time, Saurabh Damodar and uh, Pundarik Vijaniti would remain together as very intimate friends, and they would discuss each other. And Chaitanya Bhagwat and Chaitanya Chaitanya describe how Pundarik Vijaniti uh, revealed his mind uh, to Saurabh Damodar, because he had doubts. He says, why do the, the uh, people dress the Lord in starch clothes without first washing them? In Jagannath Puri, everyone's so conscious about scriptural rules, but in scripture it says the starch clothes are considered unclear, unclean. So Swarab Damodar Goswami replied that uh, this is a practice which is part of the religious tradition, and it's supervised by the king because he's allowing it, therefore it's certainly something that Lord Jagannath is allowing uh, to take place, and it's Lord Jagannath's uh, desire. So Pundrik Vidyanidhi says, well, that's fine. If Lord Jagannath wants it, then all is well. But why is it that uh, the priests and the Brahmins, that they're also dressing in starch clothes, and thus they're wearing contaminated clothes? Uh, whatever Jagannath does uh, becomes completely pure, there's no doubt. Uh, but his followers uh, are not like him, uh, therefore they shouldn't imitate. And he gave the example that even the king was tying a starch cloth around his head in this observance. So Damodar Goswami continued to argue that uh, these are not transgressions because it's part of the Odan Shasti festival. And since Lord Jagannath himself is accepting uh, this practice, therefore he should accept it. Anyway, they're debating like this back and forth in very uh, loving ways, sometimes holding their hands, sometimes putting their arms over each other's shoulders. And then later that night when they uh, went to sleep, then Chaitanya, it's described that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who knew the substance of this discussion because he's the super soul in everyone's heart, he appeared in uh, Pundrik Vidyaniti's dream in the form of Lord Jagannath and Balaram, which is quite interesting that it wasn't Jagannath who came but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the form of Jagannath and Balaram and of course there's no difference between the two but still there's a difference in that one is the served and one is the servitor and uh, when Jagannath and Balaram appeared they began to uh, slap uh, Pundrik Vidyaniti and welts appeared on Pundrik Vidyaniti's cheeks and they became very flushed so Pundrik Vidyaniti threw himself at Jagannath's feet and said oh Lord please forgive me but tell me what offense am I being punished for 
And uh, Lord Jagannath replied is that there's no end to your offenses uh, because just like me, my servitors do not belong to any caste and still you're criticizing them and splitting hairs about this particular ritual of whether they're dressed in starch clothes or not starch clothes. He says this practice has been going on for a long time even before you came here because Pundrik Vidinini wasn't from Puri. Uh, he was from what's now Bangladesh. He says, and if you don't like this over here, then instead of finding fault, you should just leave and go away. So, of course, Pandurtik Vidyanidhi was holding on to the Lord's feet and he begged for his offense, uh, offenses and uh, begged forgiveness. And then finally, Lord Jagannath became satisfied. He said, anyway, I wanted to show you my compassion and blessings and that's why I punished you. And it was really quite wonderful to receive direct punishment from the Lord and this is how devotees should think uh, sometimes we think about mercy uh, as Krishna's kindness but what does it mean that Krishna is being kind to us and fulfilling some desire it means that Krishna is paying attention to us so but when Krishna pays attention to you and beats you uh, or he slaps you uh, or takes away what you have then Krishna is again giving attention. And who does Krishna give attention to? Krishna gives attention to people who he especially favors. So it's a sign of recognition. Whether someone is being beaten, someone is being be embraced, uh, the recognition of the Lord is absolute. And therefore his servants don't really see any difference between these two things. So when Pundrik really woke up, he saw that it wasn't just in his dream. Uh, that uh, his face was uh, red, but actually his physical body uh, or his spiritualized physical uh, body uh, also bore those uh, same marks. So he was in uh, great ecstasy seeing that Krishna has been so merciful to me that Lord Jagannath has personally come to correct me and chastise me. Satyabhama, Rukmini, Janaki, or Pradyumna, they don't uh, receive this type of correction uh, by the Lord. So he was really ecstatic. And when Swarup Damodar saw him that morning, and Pundrik Vidyanidhi explained uh, what happened uh, to him, Swarup Damodar uh, was great ecstasy because a friend feels great happiness uh, when good fortune befalls his friend. Therefore, both of the uh, friends, uh, they began to laugh in uh, ecstasy because they couldn't contain their happiness. And Surab Damodar said, My dear brother, I must admit I've never seen the likes of such a punishment. The roid person comes to you in a dream and chastises you. This is extraordinary. So in this way they were floating in great ecstasy, speaking about Krishna's pastimes uh, day and night. And of course we know that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his mood of Srimataranarani would address Pundrik Vidyanidhi as father because he's the incarnation of Maharaj Brishubhanu. So on the occasion of this Odhan Shasti, uh, this is the pastime that's narrated in Chaitanya Charitamrita and Chaitanya Bhagavat, uh, how uh, advanced devotees uh, receive the mercy of the Lord. And it's connected to the events of the last week, certainly connected to the events of our lives. Therefore, we should also uh, be always appreciative and open uh, to Krishna's correction. After all, we are his servants, and that is the way that we're meant to be the humble recipients.